As we watched Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, any number of people weigh in and make hay out of Donald Sterling's despicable comments, the level of hypocrisy was, was so astounding. It, it, it was as if we had a group of people standing around discussing the emperor's new clothes while the emperor is naked. And that's a part of what is really at stake here, people. Where are the little boys, the little girls, the adults with a thinking brain who will stand up and say, wait, stop. Planned Parenthood. Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, these people support black genocide. Now, I'm going to read to you a quote from Ruth Bader Ginsburg to, to give you the framework of what I'm discussing, okay? And how completely out of balance and how, how vile this hypocrisy is. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, about four years ago, five years ago, did an interview with the New York Times. And in it, they talked about child killing, okay? Here's what she said. Frankly, I had thought that at the time Roe was decided, there was concern about population growth and particularly growth in populations that we don't want to have too many of. So that Roe was going to be then set up for Medicaid funding of abortion. Now, so that you understand the background here, she thought that Medicaid should in fact pay for child killing. And the reason was, or one of the reasons that that would be good was because it would target black babies, okay? Statistically, black children in fatherless homes have a, a much higher chance of growing up to be a criminal element, all right? So she says that. She says, well, there was concern. We, we didn't want a growth in populations that we don't have too many of. We don't have too many of. Who's she talking about? This harkens back to a decision um, of the Supreme Court in the 1920s. Oliver Wendell Holmes wrote an opinion in which they, this, they decided to sterilize a 17-year-old girl who they deemed was not all there ethically and that she was morally delinquent. And evident, evidently she was running around, all right, sexually. And Oliver Wendell Holmes said, it is better for all the world if instead of waiting to execute degenerate offspring for crime or letting them starve for their imbecility, society can prevent those who are manifestly unfit from continuing their kind. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, our, one of our current Supreme Court justices, was talking about the same thing. And she said, we don't want to have these populations. So I want you to picture this white elitist woman with her white elitist friends in New York City at the time of Roe versus Wade and when they were debating whether or not Medicaid should pay for the murder of these babies in these populations that we don't want to have too many of. Just picture them all together talking about the statistics of crime and and how many of these children, like Oliver Wendell Holmes said, uh, would, we're going to have to execute their degenerate offspring later anyway, right? It's better off for the whole world if rather than waiting for all this, let's just prevent them from continuing their kind, okay? These people are racists. The very people who are condemning Donald Sterling, black and white, male and female, these white godless elitists who believe in mass murder would happily kill and have happily killed millions of African American babies, the populations that they don't want so that we don't have to imprison them or execute them later. This is who we're dealing with. And so when they attack Donald Sterling for his immoral, unethical, racist comments, they wag a finger that is drenched in human blood. They are despicable, vile, 
mass murder promoting hypocrites of the highest order who, who want bread and circuses. All right. We have this elite of all races who entertain us and we can never speak against them. And if someone does, then we must destroy them. But let's kill the, the little ones. Kill early, kill often. Why wait to spend $38,000 a year incarcerating a young black criminal when for $400 of Medicaid tax money, you can snuff out his life be before he becomes the degenerate that we know he will be? Yeah, Donald Sterling is vile, but you people, you people, white elitist people who are trying to destroy him and you support Planned Parenthood, your day of judgment is coming. And by the way, this isn't just about um, Donald Sterling. I'm going to tell you what it's about in our next segment. Ready for two more words? Michael Sam. Michael Sam.